All right, boys and girls, how you doing today? Today is our last section of Chapter 7, Section 10-7, Write and Graph Equations of Circle. And now for our joke of the day. Who invented the first round table? Stay tuned and the answer will be revealed. Now, before we get into that, let's actually talk about the equation for a circle. The standard equation is going to be x minus h, that quantity squared, plus y minus k, that quantity squared, equals r squared. So make sure you write that down in your notes. h and k, they represent the center. And one of the common mistakes people make with describing the centers, they mix the signs up. So you just have to be careful for that. R is going to represent the radius. So what you have to do is take the square root of R squared. So that's going to be one of the things we'll, uh, we'll take a look at. So the radius is going to be what's represented by R. Now, very first thing we'll kind of take a look at here in example one, we've got this picture over here on the right. We've got to identify the center. Well, the center, that's going to be pretty straightforward stuff. We can see our centers right there. So our center, the coordinates of that center are just going to be 0, 0. Now the radius, so we're going to go from the center, and what we're going to do is count from the center to one of the edges. So that's one, two, three. So that length is three, which means the radius then has a length of three. Now to come up with the equation of the circle, first thing I want you to do is always go ahead and write down the formula. Because in the beginning, when you're getting ready to learn things, writing down the formula really helps. So make sure you write that down. The second step is just going to be substitution. So we'll substitute 0, 0 in for hk, and then 3 goes in for the value of r. Now, when you have x minus 0 squared, you can just simplify that and just write that as x squared. Same thing here for this term. y minus 0, that quantity squared, that's just going to give you y squared. Now, 3 squared, we all know that's 9. So the equation of this circle is x squared plus y squared equals 9. But what if we were just given the information and we weren't given a picture? So with this, again, we'll start by writing down our formulas. Now, the next thing I want you to do is go ahead and just take your time, substitute everything in. So we're going to have x minus 0, that quantity squared, plus, and then we have y minus negative 9 squared equals 4.2 that quantity squared. Now simplifying this whole piece we're going to have just x squared plus and then here y plus 9 because you're not going to have a double negative so you'll write that as y plus 9 that quantity squared equals then when you square 4.2 you end up with 17.64 so that is the standard equation for this circle that has a centered 0 negative 9 and a radius of 4.2. That's it. All right, we've got two more examples. Now this next one, example number three, this one's pretty neat because you can do it two different ways. And I'm going to show you the easier way. We're going to start with some information. They're going to say, all right, write the standard equation for a circle with the center at negative 1, 3, and containing the point negative 5, 6. So what I want you to do is go ahead. We'll have our highlighters out. We're going to, we're going to plug the information we're given about the center into our standard form equation. Now when we do that, we will end up with x plus 1, that quantity squared, plus y minus 3 squared equals r squared. Now the only thing I don't know is just this value for r squared, so check it out. What I'm going to do next, and this will always help you guys, this is going to be so cool. You'll, I think you'll really like this way. So we're going to plot the center first. So our center is going to be at negative 1, 3. So we're going to go ahead and plot that. Negative 1, 3. It's going to be right here. And then we're going to plot the point that it contains, that negative 5. Six. So we're going to go ahead and plot that point as well. Now what I need to do is figure out the length of the radius. And the radius is going to be this piece right here is going to connect the center with the point that's on the circle. Now to find this, here's what I want you guys to do. This is going to be pretty neat. We're going to make a right triangle. Boom. Boom. Shazam. So we got a right triangle. Now comes this super duper hard part. You're going to have to be able to count. So I'm going to count this leg here on the bottom or the base of this triangle, and that has a distance of 4 from here. 1, 2, 3, 4. This piece right here, this leg over here on the left side, that is a length of 3. 
Now my hypotenuse over here, that's going to be my radius. And I don't know what that is, but I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem to help me figure that out. Some people might be able to jump to this right away because you might recognize that that is a Pythagorean triple. So if you do, good for you, but check it out. So we're going to have 3 squared plus 4 squared. That's going to give me my radius squared. Now 3 squared is 9, and then 4 squared, no big deal, that's 16, and I get r squared. When I add them up, I get 25 for r squared. But here's where I want you to just stop, because check it out. Look, all I need to do is take this value of r squared. That's the piece that I needed, so I'm going to substitute that back in up here. So 25 is going to go in for r squared. Now a lot of times people say, oh, well, you need to find the radius. Nah, we didn't need to know what the radius was. We needed to figure out what the radius squared was to write the equation of the circle. But if we did need to find the, the value of the radius, no big deal. Then we could just say, all right, square root of 25 is going to be my radius. And we'd only deal with a positive square root because we're dealing with distance. And that would give me 5 for the length of my radius. So if we needed to explain that or show that no big deal we would just go one or two more steps but we didn't need to do that here so that's all you need to do for this problem there's another way to do this and you could use a distance formula to get after that but I'm going to only show you this one in this video because this is pretty straightforward and I think you guys will get it this way now we got one more example to do and then we're out of here this one so now we got the equation we got to come up with a picture so go ahead and fill in what you think the coordinates for the center are and what you think the radius are Pause that video, come back, check it, make sure that you got it right before you even start touching that graph. All right, how'd you do identifying that center? Most people will mess up getting the center correct when they first start working with this, so make sure you take your time and remember to switch your sign when you're moving from the algebra equation into actually just identifying what the center is. Radius, square root of 36, that gives us 6 because remember, this value out here, it represents r squared, so to solve, that for r to simplify that and find the value of r you just have to take the square root once you have that then the rest of it is just money you've got to be able to plot and count correctly that's it so 4 negative 2 so we're going to find that spot so 4 is over down to negative 2 so we'll put our center right there now we've got a radius of 6 so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go 1 2 3 4 5 we're going to go 6 in each direction kind of like a north south east west I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the left. And then lastly, we're going to go 6 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then as best you can, go ahead and draw a circle around that thing because you want to go ahead and just connect those dots. They kind of give us a little bit of a frame of reference. It's not going to be pretty, and that's all right. There's, we're not going to judge. All right, so here's our circle-looking piece right there. So that would be it. Eh, not too bad. It's not pretty, but that's correct because we've got a radius of 6, and our center is at 4, negative 2. Now, last thing we got to do is get back to our joke of the day, which was, who invented the first round table? That would be circumference. And if you don't believe me, you can read about it in his wonderful children's book, Circumference and the First Round Table. It is a math adventure, which is pretty good. So make sure you check that out if your teacher hasn't read it to you already. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. That's it for Chapter 10. We're done with this stuff, man. I'm proud of you guys for hanging in there, and I'll catch up with you soon. All right, you guys have a great day, great weekend, great evening, wherever you are, and I'm peacing out. Later.